Hi everybody, Marco Carbajo here. Today's blog post, we're going to talk about why build my business credit. In a recent interview that I did with Franchise Gator, I addressed the importance of building business credit. So in this blog post, we not only feature that particular article, but I want to also touch on a couple important things that, uh, as to make the case as to why you, as whether you're a startup business or an existing business, why it's essential that you build a business credit for your company. Now, as you know, there's the consumer credit reporting agencies, Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian. Now, when you go apply for personal credit, whether you get a personal auto loan or you get a personal credit card or a mortgage, your personal credit is what banks, lenders, they pull to check to see how credit worthy you are. They use different scoring models. Some of them have their own internal credit scoring models, and some may use FICO. Uh, also, there's different versions of the FICO score. There's even an auto score uh, built by FICO, a mortgage score built by FICO. So obviously, you know the importance of building up your personal credit. Now, as a business owner, when you as a business owner are starting a new company and you have no revenues as a startup, uh, no collateral, nothing, so banks have to rely on you as an individual, as a business owner, to assess how potentially uh, credit worthy you are for the business, the startup. Now, if you simply rely on personal credit alone, yes, that will help you obtain some, some credit personally, but for the business itself, this is where business credit comes in. So starting out as a business owner, you want to focus on building a diverse business credit report with uh, agencies such as Dun & Bradstreet, which many vendors, suppliers, equipment leasing companies pull your business credit report from Dun & Bradstreet. When it comes to Equifax small business and Experian business, uh, many banks and business credit card issuers pull from those particular bureaus. So if you don't have files established with all three major business credit reports, then more weight is going to be uh, based on your personal credit. So that's one major reason you want to build up a business credit report because banks and lenders and suppliers will be able to assess the credit worthiness of your business as opposed to simply always relying on your personal credit. In addition, when you have an established business credit profile, many banks and lenders and suppliers, they also do uh, data mining or they, they purchase marketing lists from these business credit agencies. If you haven't received a, a pre-approved credit offer in the mail, personally, that's because these credit card issuers will buy lists from the credit bureaus of people who, re who reach a certain demographic, a certain credit score range that they want to offer credit to. The same thing applies for businesses. So when your business has a business credit rating, it has an established file, that's where banks and lenders go to, the business credit bureaus, to find out who can they offer credit to? Who can they send pre-solicited offers to for, biz, uh, for business credit? So that's another advantage when you have an established business credit report. Uh, finally, I want to talk about the separation between personal and business. There's many more other things we cover in this article, but the, one of the major things, of course, is protecting yourself personally. When you separate your personal and business credit, this helps you with your bookkeeping when you come tax time, so you're not commingling your your purchases on your personal credit card, you'll have your own business credit lines, your own personal credit lines. But in addition, in addition to that, it also protects uh, the integrity of your corporation or your LLC. When you are um, a separate legal entity, then you need to treat it as a separate legal entity. So you don't want to commingle your funds. You don't want to com commingle your credit. So this also makes sure that you're running a, a legitimate operation um, and then this just opens you up to potential risk when you're commingling your funds with your personal and business. So with that, enjoy today's blog post. For more information, feel free to check out our blog, businesscreditblogger.com. Click on the subscribe button below. You'll get videos like this on a regular basis. Also check out our business credit building platform at businesscreditbuildingsystem.com. With that, make it a great day. We'll talk to you real soon.